In this new tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an ESP32 DHT server which allows you to read the temperature and the humidity. As you can see, we have the temperature is 19.5 Celsius. The humidity is 87%. And this page is updated each 4 seconds. So before we get started, make sure to smash the subscribe button. That helps me a lot. And without any further ado, let's dive right into it. So in this project, you will need an ESP32 microcontroller and the DHT sensor. So this is called DHT11, but you could use the DHT22 with the same way. And I've talked about this sensor from the previous video. The DHT sensor has three pins. The minus pin or the GND goes to the GND. The VCC goes to the 5 volt pin of the ESP32 microcontroller. And finally, we can get the temperature and the humidity. From its signal pin, you have to connect this pin to one of the GPIO pins, like the GPIO pin number 26. So let's take this DHT sensor. The order of the pins may be different. I have the VCC on the right side. The data or the signal is in the middle. So let's hook it up to the breadboard. And I'm going to start by connecting the VCC. To the VN or the 5 volt pin, then the GND goes to the GND, and as you can see, it is powered up. And finally, we have the data or signal goes to the GPIO pin number 26, and it is number 10 from this side. Now we can move on to the code. We can open up the sketch using the Arduino IDE. And let's explain it a bit. On top, we are including the libraries that we need, like the Wi-Fi library, the web server. And these libraries are built in. You don't have to install it externally. But the DHT sensor library is not built in. You have to search for it under the library manager. Just search for the name DHT sensor library. And here's the library with the same name. Make sure to hit install. And once you install it, we can close this window. Now we have two variables that you have to change, like the SID and password. Basically, the ESP32 board needs the information about the router, which are the SID and password. And then you could use all of the devices that are connected to the same network. You simply need to type in the IP address of the board, and it will display the information about the temperature and the humidity. The next things that we have to change is the GPIO pin. In our case, I've used the GPIO pin number 26. If you have used another one, like 4, make sure to type it. And the second parameter is the type of the DHT sensor. For me, I have DHT11. And that's pretty much it. Make sure to select the kind of board that you have and the port of the USB cable. I have an ODMCU32S and the port is COM6. You could also go to Tools then board under esp32 make sure to select the kind of board that you have then the port of the usb cable and let's hit upload once you get the message connecting you have to hold down the boot key after that we have to get the ip address of the esp32 microcontroller because each device has an ip address that we can use on our smartphone to get the dht values and to do that, we can open up the serial monitor. Sometimes you have to reset the port. And there you go. Now it is connected. And this is the IP address. If you haven't got these messages, make sure that you are using the same baud rate, 115.200. Let's copy this IP address using Ctrl-C. Then we have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network, which is called My Network. And let's open up a browser like Google Chrome and paste the IP value and hit enter and yep, we have these values the temperature is 18.4 the humidity is 91% and this page is refreshed each 4 seconds we have this content equals 4 that allows us to refresh the web page each 4 seconds the same thing, you could get these values from a smartphone just write the same IP address 
and enter this page and there you go we have the same values of the temperature and the humidity but the only problem is that this IP address may change luckily we have used another library that is called ESP and DNS and it allows you to get the same web page or the web server by typing this name esp32.local so let's try it we can write esp32 or any name you put under this mdns.begin function then dot local and there you go here is the web page it's a dht web server i think that's pretty much it guys for this video if you have any question or comment about this project, make sure to write it under the comment section down below and I will see you in the next one.